Welcome back guys to a brand new money making 101. Today we're going to be doing some lower level um, money making methods that require pretty low stats. Um, it's going to be farming. Um, so in the last video someone pointed out that these methods are already around. Well no shit Captain Obvious. These are the methods I use to make money which I get asked frequently how do you make your money. So I'm going to make some videos on how I make my money so that anyone that wants to follow my path can do so. So what you're going to need is level 38 farming to grow tote flex. That would be the first requirement or the highest requirement basically is um, 38. And then for flowers you also will need 26 for limper wood. So if you have 38, you're good to go. So the requirements for this money making method is 38 farming, which we went over earlier. That's all you're going to need. Um, suggested levels that are going to make this easier and more profitable are as follows. Uh, lunar Spellbook. With Lunar Diplomacy done, that's how you get the spellbook. With 83 magic for fertile soil, um, higher magic level also opens up some more teleports, like the Catherby teleport, which will make it um, a lot quicker for you to get to your patches. Access to Mortania, which requires the Priest and Para quest. With the Ectophile, which requires the Ghost of Hoy quest. Um, this teleports you to the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, the Ectophile, I think, and then you can run over to the uh, farming patch, which is you know, pretty close. So that, that helps uh, save some time. Um, doing some of the achievement diaries also will open up some quicker methods. Um, the Explorer's Ring has uh, recharge energy, so you can continue to run without having to drink a potion. And it also teleports you right to the Falador farming patch, which uh, is kind of out of the way, so this, this ring really helps you. Um, the Ardogan Cape for teleportation to the Ardogan, or however you say that, patch. <laughs> um, like, you can only use one a day, but it's, um, it's really helpful because it puts you right in the center of the patch. <clears throat> so... That's definitely uh, an achievement diary worth doing. And the Kandoran headgear um, gives you improved yield from the Catherby patch. So instead of getting just 10% with the magic secutors, you'll be getting like, I think it's 15 or 20% because of wearing the headgear. And then the Edgar's Ruse quest for access to the Trollheim disease free patch. It's kind of a shitty quest, but you do get a disease free patch where you can plant higher level herbs um, and they won't die no matter what. But make sure you do use super compost as that affects the amount of herbs you do get when uh, harvesting it. And last but not least, completing Fairytale Part 1 will also give you the Magic Secutars, which give you a 10% increase on yield on every single patch um, for herbs. So doing that is probably one of the most important requirements as it's going to make your yield and profit margin increase a lot. So the most common patch is going to be the Catherby one. Um, it is pretty easy to get to as you tell you right to here to Camelot and you can run it down. Or if you're on the Lunar Spellbook, you can do Teleport to Catherby and you get right there. Whichever one you want to choose, or which one you have available. Uh, so now you have your Limpert Seeds, which are about um, 2.3k, 2.7k a piece. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but you get three Limpert Roots per, which are 2.2k. So you basically double your profit. Um, so you go ahead and pick it, and this will be... It's a, They grow in, I think, 23 minutes or something like that. Um, so they're, they're fairly quick um, to do. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if you have a magic secutor that's gonna improve your um, yield from your herbs, also a candor and headgear three will help improve your yield as well. And you're gonna just pick your toad flex, which takes 75 minutes to grow. And let's see, so we're gonna go ahead and this is my other patch I did that was stupid far away. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop these so I can see how many I get per seed. Go back. Alrighty, come on, come on. All right, so we got ten herbs per seed. So let's go ahead and look at the seed here. It is 291 GP for one seed, and this is a little bit above average yield for um, um a seed. But we'll see how much you make. You're looking at 24.5 K. So you just turned 284 GP into 24 K in 75 minutes. So if you do this, uh, I do five patches. So if you do, you know, four patches or three that you have available to you, you know, you're making what 75k without doing anything. So you're I don't even know how many times, like a hundred times your your profit margin. <laughs> um, so it's pretty simple, but a lot of people don't like farming or don't really understand farming and don't know how it is profitable for them. So this is one of the ways that I you know do farming to make profit and then you grow these things and lose all your profit.
So let's see how much we made from five tote flax seeds, assuming you have the Trollheim one done, and four regular allotments or flower patches, um, assuming they all lived. From the flower patches, you made 28k, and from the herb patches, you made 95k. So 123k, and the seeds cost you 13k. So you turned 13k into 123k in 75 minutes. And the best part about this is that it's AFK. Um, by that I mean you plant your shit and you fucking leave. <laughs> and you can go back to woodcutting, fishing, slayer, whatever else you're doing at this time. But um, So this is a good AFK like method to make money while you're doing other things. And that's why it's such a profitable skill. This is going to wrap up this money making 101. I hope that you guys did enjoy. It's a very quick video as the skill is pretty easy to do. Um, if you did enjoy and it did help you, let me know. If it didn't, let me know how I can improve it. And stay tuned and subscribe for future videos where we will be making more money doing different various things. So I hope you guys did enjoy and we'll see you next time. Sweet.